Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. So today I thought it would be fun to do a little collection video. So I did these on my Instagram like a long time ago. I started to do like a collection video for all of my products, but I just think YouTube is a more fun way to do this. And I saw my friends Tara Brooke and Kyla Fish do this. Tara did more of like a ranking system and Kyla just did what I repurchased. And I'm gonna do it more like Kyla just because I could rank these, but they all serve a different purpose in my collection. And I also saw Khaki Reviews Beauty do this for her cream blushes. So I'd really love to do this type of video for different areas of my collection. So definitely let me know which area you wanna see first. I'm thinking eyeshadows would be fun, blushes, bronzers, but let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. And so let's just get into this so we don't take forever. So these are gonna be all of my glossy type of products. It's basically all of the lip products I own. The only ones I'm not showing are my one lipstick that I own, my one lip liner, and this lip mask from Bite. And also, I'm sorry if you can hear that loud noise. The air conditioning is right outside my room and it's really loud. So let's start with my Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I have the shade Scent Peach. This is in my project pan, as you can see. I forgot to include this in the last update, but I will be sure to include it in the future. I bought this because I have gone through one and a half of my lip sleeping mask. And that was basically all I wore in college. And this is basically all I wore on my lips when I was in class too, because it's such a nice lip balm. It doesn't do a ton for hydration and I do like the lip sleeping mask better, but this one is nice. I find it doesn't give that much of a tint. So I don't think it, there makes a difference between what shade you get. If I remember correctly, I reached for my GlossierBalm.com a lot more than I reached for this, but I actually ran out of my Balm.com and I need to repurchase that after I go through this. This is all right, but I definitely wouldn't repurchase because it's not cruelty free, but you do get a lot more product than it appears. I thought I was going to be through with this already, and I'm still like using this all the time, making my boyfriend use it and everything, and I still have a ton left. So it's definitely good value for money, but sadly I wouldn't repurchase it. Next is something I purchased in the last Sephora VIB sale, and it's the Kosas Wet Lip Oil in Dip. I kind purchased of on a whim this just because I heard, I think, Jamie Page talk about this. She talked about this in the Tower 28 glosses, and for some reason, this called me more. Um, at first, I didn't like this shade. I thought it was too dark on me, but now I really enjoy it. It's a really warm shade. There are some sparkles, but it's not glittery on the lips. This is definitely more of a lip oil, not a lip gloss. I find that when I first apply, there is a shine to it, but it very quickly, like 30 minutes to an hour, that shiny, shiny kind of wears off so it still looks healthy and like a balm but it's not looking like a lip gloss after a little while and more just is a tint of color with a little bit of moisture and like slip to it kind of similar to like what I'm wearing right now which is the Fenty ones so it's not like a traditional lipstick which definitely took a little bit of getting used to but I still really enjoy this I think this shade would look pretty on like any skin tone and yeah I want to repurchase or not repurchase. I want to purchase other colors. I want Malibu, Jellyfish, and Jaw. But they are $28, which is really steep, especially when this isn't my favorite of all time. I definitely prefer something a little bit more balmy. And I don't know, I like this, but I don't reach for it every day. So I would repurchase it, but not at full price. I would only repurchase if there was a sale. But I do see myself having more shades of this in my collection in the future. Just definitely not at full price. Just because for $28, it's really steep and the Tower 28 ones are $14. So I'm basically getting two Tower 28 ones for the price of one of these. And to me, I don't love this enough to get it over the Tower 28 ones. So I don't know. I still really recommend this and really love it if you want to spend the money on a gloss. I think this is amazing. It's just the price is too high for me to justify repurchasing it at full price. I hope that makes sense. I forgot to mention that the Kosas ones have a like vanilla orange creamsicle scent. So if you're really sensitive to scents, keep that in mind. It is nice, but again, I wouldn't repurchase it at full price just because it's not my favorite of all time. But again, I can't really compare it to a gloss because it's not a gloss. It's a tinted lip oil. So I hope that makes sense. Next are probably my favorite glosses I've ever tried, and those are the Tower 28 glosses. I have three shades. The clear one is Chill, purple one is Fearless, and the orange one is Fire. I've gone through a decent amount of these, as you can see. There's not as much product as you think because the wand takes up a lot. Let me show you when I take this out. It goes down pretty much, so I could probably run through this pretty quickly but if again, I wanted to. But again, it's only $14. And I love these so much. As you'll see in the swatches, it's a lot more sheer than it appears in the bottle. And 
it's not sticky whatsoever it's more like a balm it's really slippery around the lips and i know state of kate does not like these because of how slippery they are i personally really like it because it feels really moisturizing to me but it doesn't feel like i'm wearing a lip product it more so feels like i'm wearing a balm gloss hybrid and i really really enjoy that i would definitely in a heartbeat repurchase these i love all of these shades and i definitely want to pick up another one i'm thinking either the pink one or the red one but i love these so much these have 3.9 milliliters or 0.13 fluid ounces and the kosas on has 0.15 fluid ounces so the kosas one does have more than tower 28 one which is a little bit weird to think about but compared to like a fenty one i don't have this in the video because it's expired but the fenty one has 0.3 fluid ounces and tower 28 has 0.13 so the fenty one you're getting double in the tower 28 which explains the price on this and also why you run through these so fast but i love these so much these are probably one of the favorite things that i'm going to show you in this video top two this and the fenty balms that i'm going to show you are my favorite lip products of all time so definitely would repurchase and definitely recommend so i just also wanted to add since i apparently forgot to say so much that some people say that they think that these smell like a hint of coconut or like a beachy smell personally i don't smell anything when i put these on maybe a slight whiff but you could tell me that these are not fragranced or scented at all and i would believe you because on my lips i don't smell anything when i take it out of the bottle i don't smell anything and also as you can see as i'm applying them and in the swatches i really like the applicator on this one because it's so bendy the kosas one is bendy but it's also more at an angle and it's more firm whereas this is more like a plastic kind of pattern with fuzzies on the outside i don't want to say plastic like a bad thing but it's so bendy that you can really get around the edges of your lips so if you do get for example the red one which is a little bit more pigmented you can still easily stay within the lines of your lips and not have a problem with it and as you can see on all of these i don't have a problem with any of the pigmentation i think all of the colors look good on my skin tone and i think they would look good on anyone's skin tone on me they all pull a little bit pink as you can see even with the orange one it pulls a little bit pink and that's just because i have pink undertones in my lips and it just is enhancing that so don't let any of the colors scare you but definitely the clear one and the purple one are my faves i end up wearing the orange one a lot with my orangey looks but they are all really lovely Next thing is a lip product that I'm actually really disappointed in and I won't be repurchasing. It's the Glossier Lip Gloss. This is the shade Red. And I don't know, I was just really disappointed it's in the formula really of this, sticky, not so much the shade. Which is alright if you want to make it long wearing, but for every day I don't like that formula. I just feel like my lips stick together, everything sticks to my lips, and I get that goopy white ring on the inside of my mouth when I talk. And I just don't love that. I love the idea of a sheer red lip gloss, which is why I purchased it, but I think once I use this up, I'm going to go for a different red lip gloss. That's why I want to get the Kosas or the Tower 28 one. This one I'm just a little bit disappointed in. I know so many people love the formula. They love how long wearing and glass-like it makes your lips look, which I would agree with, but the cons for me outweigh the pros for this. And it is only $14. It's definitely small for the price, but I wouldn't mind paying for it if I really loved the formula, but sadly I don't. I won't be repurchasing this or any other colors but I'm still going to use this up. It's just a little bit of a disappointment for me. If you like sticky lip glosses, I would recommend this because I think the color is pretty. I enjoy this more than when I first tried it, but just with all the water that I drink and all the talking that I do, it's just not practical for every day for me, so I'm still uneasy about it. And lastly are the newest things to my collection, and I'm actually going to be doing a video on these, reviewing them as well as duping them in the coming weeks. I'm just waiting for some products to get in, but these are the Fenty Beauty slip shine sheer shiny lipstick sorry that was really hard to read i have the shades glazed and tang thing i love both of these shades so much they're more like a balm so they're not necessarily lipsticks but considering i don't have any other lip products in my collection i just wanted to throw these in here but they are so pretty that's what i'm wearing on my lips right now is glazed it just feels like a tinted lip balm and i love it so much it's not too shiny it's not too slippery but it is incredibly moisturizing it gets a nice tint of color that you can build up a little bit 
and I think it's really long wearing. It does have a little bit of glitter or shimmer. I don't notice it like when I press my lips together and these two shades in particular, I don't find too glittery. I just find it helps add a little bit of a shine to the lips and I really, really have been enjoying these. I would definitely repurchase. They are $22, which is a bit steep, but I would still repurchase, especially the shade Tang Thang. Well, actually both of them. The Glaze does a really nice nude on me and Tang Thang is the perfect, like, sheer wash of bright color it helps me wear bright colors without having to commit to a matte lipstick or something really bright that's going to be a lot of effort these are just super easy i love all the shades that they came out with it's a huge shade range so everyone can find a shade that they like but i've really been enjoying these definitely look out for my video i have a few dupes that i think some people may like they are cruelty free dupes since i know a lot of the dupes for these are not so with that being said, I would still repurchase these, even given the dupes, just because I love these so much. The formula is really comfortable. I don't smell it at all. State of Kate says her smells really floral. She has the shade Retro Rose. But to me, I the glazed has like a slight smell when I first open it, but I don't smell anything after that. So I generally like my lip products unscented, unless it's like a lip balm, just because like with the Fenty glosses, sometimes I feel like I taste the scent. I still don't mind it, but it's just not my favorite. So those are all my lip glossy, lip balm things in my collection. I really love them all and I'm happy with where my collection is at. I definitely, again, want to add a few things. I want to add a sheer red. I would be open to trying more gloss formulas in the future, but for now, I'm really content with where it's at. Definitely let me know what your favorite lip gloss or lip balm formula is down below. Sorry if that was bad. It was my first lip swatch sort of video and I realized that I'm not the best at applying lip products and I also don't know what to do with my face when I do it, but definitely the arm swatches should be a little bit more helpful. If you have any questions or you want any comparisons, feel free to shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'll be happy to talk more or send any more pictures to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know what other category sort of videos you want to see and I will see you in my next video. Bye!